Hello, Michael Wynn, Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops, a division of RB Oppenheim Associates. Welcome to the Digital Marketing Podcast and video series. We talk about digital marketing strategies to help grow your business. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the 14 building blocks of a successful audio-based marketing plan. I mean, think about it, guys. The situation that we find ourselves in today, something has shifted. There's, there's a new normal that is taking place. Think about this. Uh, for those of you who are boomers or Gen X, uh, you know, when a, when a crisis happened in America, TV time spiked. Everyone rushed to the TV, wanted to make sure that they tuned in to their news to make sure they were aware of what was happening in the world around them. That's not happening in 2020. The new normal is not a spike in television. It's actually a shift in what makes the most sense. What is the first screen now? It used to be your first screen was your television screen. Not anymore. Your first screen is your mobile device. And so everything that sits on top of your mobile device has now become your instant access to the news about what's happening, whether it's, you know, uh, the phase of opening of the types of businesses, uh, you know, during this pandemic time that we're in as the country begins to try to recover from this situation and, uh, and, and, and what's happening all around us. So, um, and, and with mobile first, you know, understanding that, that social, uh, you know, media platforms, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I have, you know, watched or listened to, uh, you know, I'm, we're based in Florida. And so of course I'm, listening to the governor's reports as they often come on uh, many of the uh, broadcast channels. They can't interrupt their program. I'm not quite sure, but they, they don't. Um, and they just do a live broadcast on Facebook or maybe to YouTube. And so, you know, I'm in my feed and I see, okay, hey, the governor is about to come on and explain. Or the president will have his uh, you know, usually four o'clock Eastern time, uh, you know, has his information, uh, you know, or his live press conference. And of course, that's live streamed on social platforms as well. Now, obviously, there are other media outlets like CNN and, and other news outlets, but traditional, you know, your ABC, CBS, NBC, they've gone to a mobile platform to disseminate this information. So that's the landscape, right? That's the shift that's taken place is that it's no longer the normal to turn on our TV. The new normal is to go to our mobile device. So number, let's talk about these 14 blocks, these building blocks of a successful audio-based marketing plan. Now, number one, you need to understand that audio really, um, you know, the, the most common platform that we think about is a podcast. Your podcast is that audio channel where you create content and publish content. Well, what we've seen over the last eight weeks, and again, some of these metrics are, are, are out there depending on your source, whether you're looking at um, Spotify or iTunes, you know, some of the, the top platforms there. Um, the amount of, of downloads really spiking um, just across the board, obviously news uh, really spiked. Um, the other thing I think is interesting is spirituality spiking, um, you know, as well as sort of relaxing and, you know, other type of, of calming type of, of music content um, that really, you know, has skyrocketed because what's happening, you know, and, and, and what's interesting is that there, there's the, the commute time, which was normally the time when downloads would spike um, because we were listening to the podcast on our way home, our way to the grocery store. Well, what's happened? We're, we're you know, we're working from home or, you know, we're, we're under quarantine or, 
you know, whatever the, the conditions are that have reduced, you know, working from home and that you're not, you're not driving, right? You're getting up and moving from, you know, the couch to the living room or from, you know, your bedroom to the kitchen, like that's your commute. Um, so understanding that that is what's happening, we're demonstrating by our consumption of media that there there's this new method, that there's a, a new desire from a consumer standpoint to consume different a different type of media than what we've demonstrated before when we look at the context of a crisis. But what's happening is, is there's a new behavior, right? I mean, we've, we've all been, you know, hunkered down for, you know, 8, 10, 12 weeks, and we've already established new habits, things that we're doing now that we didn't do before. And so your podcast, you know, really is recognizing that there's been a shift. So understanding that fundamentally is, is block number one. Block number two, understand that music impacts our mood. I think it's really fascinating the information that Pandora has put out about the different types of playlists, the different types of musics, how 88% of people who they polled said that music impacts their mood. You know, we're working from home, we've got our work playlist, we're cooking from home, we've got our cooking playlist. Um, so all of this kind of information, re all of this, this type of content that we're consuming because our lifestyle changes you know, are, are, we are just thrown in the middle of this, you know, uh, the status quo has been completely disrupted. So, you know, the use of smart speakers or our mobile devices allow us to have this hands-free access to be able to consume this content, this audio-based content. So, and, and I think that, again, when we dive into, um, again, you know, with, with what Pandora is, is, is you know, kind of reporting is, you know, audio meditation um, and, and work from home playlist and just relaxing, you know, uh, music. I mean, I, was, I'll, I do actually work in the office because my office is only three blocks from the house. The rest of the team is remote. So I was literally driving home from the office and I was listening to XM radio and they advertised a new deep and, and relaxing channel uh, the calm channel on XM radio. Again, this is just what this is media's response to human behavior of consumption of content. So building block number two is understanding that music impacts mood. Building block number three, really thinking about your audio inventory. Um, and when we're talking about an audio inventory, we're talking about the difference between you know, creating content, um, whether it's like a, a show or a series, um, you know, or whether it's creating playlists, but whatever your inventory, the, the, the audio format programming, if you will, and how does that content connect with your audience in the context of their life? So, Building block number three is to is to really wrap your hands around your audio inventory. Building block number four is to think about and 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 be very intentional about your brand tone. It's audio. We're listening. How you say it matters more almost than what you say. I mean, if if you're the type of person that you know is very monotone and you don't have a lot of emphasis in your voice after a while that could be really monotonous now i get we're talking about relaxing you know calming and that's okay but at the same time you need to decide what is your brand tone i know as public relations and communicators for decades we've worked on brand tone and that's typically in the written messaging you know sort of aspect but now brand tone literally is how do we hear your brand, and what does your brand sound like? Uh, building block number five, brand story. What is your brand story? You know, I, I think that the, the idea of messaging and being consistent in messaging is another core 
tenant of good communication. But in a world where we're trying to build a successful audio-based marketing plan, it's important that we understand brand story. Meaning, what is that theme that flows through the, the content that we're talking about? And what we know right now is, is more consumers are looking for content that provides them with a positive outlook and inspires them to get out and do more, just go in the outdoors, um, you know, um, connect with people, even if it's through, you know, a Zoom meeting. You know, how can you inspire people despite of the conditions and the very challenging times that we find ourselves in? So brand story matters very, very much. Uh, building block number six. What is your audio content strategy? You know, again, we have to understand the context. What is happening in the daily lives of our listeners? And how do we make their lives better? Is it through a, a, a set of playlists? You know, um, if, if you are a, you know, a, a physical therapist or you're a m music therapy uh, business, obviously you're going to create the kind of content that's going to help people. If you're a real estate agent, how are you going to create content that makes them feel relaxed or feel better about their decisions? Um, you could give them great ideas to how to make your home a more positive environment, whether it's, you know, um, you know, getting one of those uh, diffusers with, you know, uh, natural um, uh, living, you know, essential oils, um, to, you know, or candles or incense, you know, all the different things that you can do to create a more positive um, environment for, you know, those who are going through this situation that we find ourselves in. Um, building block number seven is understand that you can easily shift from a webcast to a podcast, meaning go from your live stream content and take that live stream, whether it's in video format, uh, and, and take advantage of the audio format of that webcast. Very similar to the show that we do uh, week in and week out here with the Digital Marketing Podcast series here, where the show is broadcasted live on Facebook. We record it, we upload it to YouTube. We've got folks that tune in on Facebook to watch it. We've got folks that, you know, will that have subscribed to our YouTube channel. And then of course, folks who are listening like you to the podcast episode. So understand that the webcast to podcast is a great way to build up your inventory and, and really be able to have that sort of pillar content of your successful audio based marketing plan. Now, Number eight, building block number eight, is thinking about and, and giving very specific, intentional focus on your audio style. What's going to be the style? Are you going to be a solo storyteller? Or, you know, um, you know or are you an inspirational, um, you know, professor providing great insight and inspiring educational content? Or... Are you going to be a, a host and interview your guest as they come on the show? And, you know, or, or are you going to assemble a panel of, of professionals or a panel of experts? So your audio style matters. Building block number nine. Guys, if you don't understand that Spotify wants to be the Netflix of audio, you are absolutely missing out on what's happening in audio right now. They Last year, they bought up Anchor FM. They just announced uh, a special exclusive deal with Joe Rogan, um, one of the most really recognized podcast um, authors in, in the space uh, that just came out today. Um, you know, so understanding that and, and then really thinking about how do you build out your channel? This is no different than if you were going to build out your YouTube channel or your Facebook page, you have a cover art, you have an about section, 
really being intentional about the design of that because they're going to, you know, people who are coming to your channel, they're going to see your cover art. They're going to see um, your profile and what you're about. And you can take an opportunity to really connect with them and also give them direction of how they can reach you, whether it's through your website address or a phone number, whatever your means of contact is. Make sure that you are building your channel profile and, and, and understand whether it's Spotify or Anchor FM, that's important. Building block number 10. Building block number 10 is about audio content distribution. So there are, are a multitude of podcast platforms out there. Obviously, we talked about Spotify. iTunes is obviously a, a huge leader in the space. Uh, Anchor FM, which we've talked about. SoundCloud has been around forever. Um, you know, other sort of more obscure platforms like Stitcher and Outcast. I mean, Google has Google Podcast. Um, so there are many different channels and some of the platforms we like to use Anchor FM. It makes it very easy to record your content and then essentially publish it and send it out automatically or distribute automatically to these platforms. So with one click of a button, you're on iTunes, you're on Spotify, you're on Google Podcast. So understand content distribution. Now, don't stop there. You need to leverage your other digital media channels like social media platforms, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn, um, you know, or even going to a, a, a Quora platform where you have the ability to answer questions and say, hey, we just did an episode on this very topic. You might find it helpful. So all the different ways that you can distribute your podcast, your audio-based marketing content, or just audio content in general, and having a strategic plan and having very specific tactics of how you're going to distribute it is important. Now, a lot of these platforms have very easy tools to embed your podcast right on your website like Anchor FM has it, SoundCloud has it. Um, you know, many of the uh, platforms, you just go to your channel, you click, you know, edit, you click on embed, you get the embed code, you put it right in your, your website, and boom, people who visit your website can gain access to your podcast content without ever knowing or downloading any episodes. They can listen to it and stream it right from your website. And then don't forget about your email channel. You can obviously send out whether you send out a daily or a weekly or, you know, bi-monthly, whatever your, you know, frequency is to let people know, hey, we've got a new episode. We've got a new show. We've got a new playlist that we just released. You know, making sure that you are promoting and, and really getting the word about out about your, your content, your audio content is a core building block of a successful audio marketing plan. All right, building block number 11, we've got just a couple of more, we're doing 14. So number 11, titles and descriptions matter. I did a whole episode on this about sexy titles when we were talking about YouTube video SEO. And again, that really applies uh, to the same aspect for your audio content. You want to have great titles. We are still scrolling in headline readers. And so, you know, sexy titles sell, you know, we love lists. We love, you know, comp words like comprehensive. I mean, the title of your episode really does matter. Um, you know, and then the description, you know, the, the first little 40 words that we'll see, are you connecting with the pain point or, or the decision point or, you know, just reflecting that you understand the context of daily life and how this episode, you know, directly correlates with that. And so thinking about that is important. It really does impact your reach. And there are search engine optimization uh, ripple effects when you are, you know, leveraging these very specific keywords that people are looking for when they're trying to find inspiration or they're trying to find helpful articles, uh, audio content around the, the thing that they want to, um, you know, help themselves or become better educated. 
Building block number 12 is having inviting strategic guests. Because when you invite a guest to your show, you're also you're 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 bringing into your program their authority on the topic matter. You're bringing in their expertise on the topic matter. And you're also bringing in their audience. So when you've got your audience and their audience, you've what? You've doubled your audience, which means you've doubled your reach automatically. So there's such a win-win when you bring on a guest to the program, which is why we do many times we have guests on Fridays on our show, um, just because, you know, we've decided, hey, we want to, you know, kind of share this as a platform, as a resource, whether you are an in-house marketer, whether you're a solo practitioner, whether you are an agency account manager, whatever your role is, you're trying to figure out how to grow your business using digital marketing strategies and tactics. Um, you know, we understand that. And so we're trying to bring in, you know, the best expertise and authority in this area. So understand that, that this building block of strategically inviting guests on your show is a critical part of building your audio based marketing plan. All right, building block 13 is there is paid media placement for a podcast. So depending on, there's a couple different ways you can go about doing this. One of the platforms that's out there is called Pop, Podcorn, almost said popcorn. It's Podcorn. This is a marketplace that brings together, um, you know, podcast uh, authors and, and channels along with um, sponsors and brands that are looking for the audience that that particular podcast author, um, you know, really has uh, an influence over. And so it's a marketplace where these two come together and they're able to put together, you know, uh, an incentive program or an agreement where that sponsor has access to that particular author's um, audience through their, their show and their platform. So again, understanding that there is paid media placement, as well as even on Anchor FM, you can turn on sponsorships and earn revenue through leveraging Anchor's ad platform, where again, the same sort of uh, idea here is where, you know, Anchor is selling ad space to advertisers to try to reach specific demographics and interests of, uh, you know, the reach. So. Paid placement is absolutely going to be part of your overall audio-based marketing plan. All right, building block 14. We've made it uh, to the last step here, the, the last building block. And it's a really great one. And it also has a revenue impact for your business. You know, we've talked a lot about whether you are a small business, whether you are an association, whether you are an organization or a corporation. Um, Many times there are opportunities where you could um, leverage your your audience and and be able to to essentially have your own ad space. You know, you could say today's episode is brought to you by, and you could you know mention the sponsor name, or you could come up with you know whatever your ad program offers are. You could have an intro that's a 10 second, you know, specific product or service mention. Um, this is so common and this is such a great way if you're a nonprofit organization and you're really trying to build up your podcast and webcast content and look for underwriters to help offset your cost or just to bring in revenue for you to continue to provide the services and or products that you offer to your community. So. Audio sponsor packages and, and audio sponsor revenue is a great way to have, you know, in content sponsorship uh, mentions. Now, again, you don't want to oversaturate your content with a bunch of ads. No one likes that. So you have to be selective and you have to be intentional about those sponsors. There needs to be the right fit. But most of you already know who that is. If you've had your annual conference or you've had, you know, uh, an event that, you know, you've had a sponsor that sponsored, you know, events, whether they were real world or whether they were digital or virtual, you know, understanding that an audio sponsor opportunity is a is another great way to have a successful 
uh, audio-based marketing plan. Guys, I, this has been a super deep dive. I think these have been really 14 great building blocks of a successful audio marketing plan. Um, you know, thinking about your the the podcast downloads and the shift from TV and how music impacts our mood and really understanding your audio inventory and the combination of your brand tone and your brand story and how that can really uh, translate to greater reach for your audience. And then understand what is your content strategy? You know, are you, do you understand the context? Do you understand daily life of your listeners and how do you interact and connect with them? And, and obviously the, the other points we talked about were, you know, having that sort of webcast to podcast strategy to leverage both visual and audio is a great um, strategy. Audio style, are you going to be the solo story time teller? Are you going to have interviews or a mixture or a panel? Um, that's important. Spotify, building out your channel, your profile, your cover art, and then audio content distribution. Understand you need to get out there and distribute across all the platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Anchor FM, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Outcast, Google Podcast, as well as embedding on your website, publishing on social media, uh, sending out in your email blast as well. Don't forget titles and descriptions impact your reach and have search engine optimization impacts. And then sh having strategic guests, leveraging their authority and expertise along with their sphere of influence in the digital world. Don't forget about paid media placement as well as audio sponsor revenue opportunities. Guys, those are the 14 building blocks of a successful audio-based marketing plan. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Michael Wynn, Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops, a division of RB Oppenheim Associates. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you guys have a great day.